Flash Season 2, Episode 19, Back to Normal. Now, I think this was a pretty cool episode. I think it was interesting watching Barry have to deal with the fact that he doesn't have his powers. And, you know, them kind of just going through the motions. It's like, alright, I don't have my powers. We have Wells dealing with... I think what they did with Wells is actually really cool in this episode. Because, obviously, it was Eobar Thawne Wells that did the... Um, accelerator explosion in this version of Earth 1 and we have Earth 2 Wells and he's still dealing with it like he's dealing with this guy who technically has no relation to him and doesn't have his powers because of his particle accelerator but he knows that everything that's being said applies to him in Earth 2 and excuse me I love the way that they did that where it's like he's still suffering from this accident really even though it's not from someone who actually suffered from his accident. And it's like, it's very interesting how they're doing that and how he's dealing with this loss. And, you know, he goes through the trouble of, you know, really finding his daughter in this episode. So she's kind of rejoined everything. And he gets taken and he goes through this. It's really not much of a lesson for him. It's just him hearing something that maybe he hasn't heard enough. And, it, you know, it kind of just gets to him. So I really love what they did with his character. I think the person that was affected, he had a really sad story, like the villain of this episode was actually kind of sad, where it's like, he had cool powers, but every time he used his powers, it made him age, and he was, I think he said he was like 16, or something like that, 16 or 17, and he obviously is a grown man, and he gets older and older, and then eventually he dies by the end, and it was, it made it even worse, because he turned back into, like, the young version of himself when he actually died. I was like, man, that just makes it, you know, even sadder, really. But I like what they did with the story for this. And everyone was kind of just dealing with some weird stuff. Barry's kind of walking around. You know, he's literally just walking around. And he's just Barry Allen. And he can't really do much. He's just a normal guy. Um, Wally, you know, they decided to edit out the stick up his butt. And it was like, he's a good character this episode. Because he, I swear, every time he just goes back and forth, it's like... He sometimes he starts off and it's like he's getting annoying again and then he'll do something else where it's like he has the great speech uh, with Joe and it's like I just need to meet the Flash because he gave me a chance that no one else ever really has and I need to thank him for that and I was like see that's really cool because when it first started off it was just normal like every time he's told no he has like the same expression and I know it's just you know the actor who does that but but that's what they want his character to do, is have that same expression. And it's like, every time he does that, I'm like, he's just annoyed. Just like that. And it's like, he shouldn't be that annoyed over being told no or something like that. I was also a little mad that he didn't figure out Barry was Flash, because I thought that's where that was going. He was like, oh, you know, the Flash is at the race car track. And then, um, you know, Zoom even told me, like someone that the Flash knows really cares about me and I thought he would just put it together but I guess he just assumes Barry's like that random white guy that's sometimes around because I, if I remember right everybody was there when he was at Star Labs except for Barry because he was as the Flash and it just seemed interesting like he just didn't put it together I was like crap I was I thought it was like this close I was getting super excited but didn't happen like I thought it would but you know, in that first moment, he's told no. It's like, okay, he seems really annoyed again. I'm like, you know, it was kind of in between. I was like, all right, he was told no. It's kind of a big deal. I understand that. So I was like instantly annoyed. But then at the end, when he, you know, I guess it was towards the middle when he gave the speech, I was like, okay, this is just a good episode for Wally. He's not annoying. He's not getting mad, seemingly for like no good reason. And all this other stuff. So I was, I liked his character. Um, another thing, he mentioned our, um, the shark guy, I was about to say Armagon, that's Ninja Turtles. Um, he mentioned the shark guy and Flash saving him at the house as well. That was the main reason I thought he was going to think like, oh, it's definitely Barry because it was at the house and stuff. But he just didn't put it together. He mentioned all those moments. I was like, he's definitely going to say Barry's the Flash and then that didn't happen. So that kind of sucked. But yeah, they had a really good moment and he thanks Barry and you know, Barry realizes, like, he did something, like, he gave up his powers, and it may have, you know, definitely affected the city, but he saved someone's life, like, he truly saved somebody's life, and I thought that was really good, I thought it was really cool, and, you know, it was just a great moment for Wally's character, I think, which, like I said, they basically do every two episodes, he's a good character that I enjoy, and then every other time, it's like, he seems to just get annoyed about simple stuff, and it's like, that makes me annoyed with him, 
So, you know, I was glad that he had another good episode. I think his last one was good, too, uh, when he actually moved into the house with Joe. I think that was a good moment that they had as well. But, you know, I, I was glad that he had a good moment. And then we had the stuff with Wells that was really good, too. And then, of course, Barry dealing with his stuff and not having any powers. That was very interesting, him trying to figure out, like, what the heck do I do? How to be the hero without having the hero powers and stuff. So that was actually pretty fun and, you know, distracting the, the guy at the end, like having him use up all his power, taking a hit early on when they first fight him and he gets hit with like the barrel and stuff. And he's like, OK, I'm pretty messed up right now. So he goes through a, a pretty normal day. And by the end, they have a really awesome conclusion to his problem. And it's from Wells where he's like, all right, we're going to recreate the particle accelerator explosion. And so that's already happened now. I've missed that episode, so I'm going to have to watch that one. But I know it's called Flashpoint, which is very cool because uh, the reason it's called Flashpoint is because that's what they do in the Flashpoint Paradox, which I've mentioned before from season one, because that involved Barry going back in time and saving his mother, which, like, destroys the future. Um, that's all from Flashpoint Paradox. So it's cool that they call it the um, most recent episode Flashpoint because they do the same thing. I can assume that it works. Um, I haven't seen the episode, but it's also called The Flash, so I know it's going to work. Um, but that's what they do in the movie. If you watch like the animated movie, um, it's very different because he does it with Thomas Wayne, which is Bruce Wayne's dad. I don't want to talk about all that because I don't want to spoil it, but there's a lot of stuff that goes on in that movie that's really different. Um, but they recreate and stuff, so it's kind of cool that they call the episode Flashpoint, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. I saw in the trailer that they use, um, I believe it's The Wand, the weather weather wizard's wand so i think that's pretty cool that they utilize that to give him the power back or at least electrocute him because i can guess how it's going to play out if it plays out exactly like the story does uh, from the movie and the comics but i'm looking forward to seeing that but i certainly enjoyed this one i think it was a good character driven episode i think they had a lot of good stuff from it where you know we see barry dealing with being the hero without the hero powers we got we actually got some pretty good stuff from Zoom as well because Caitlin and her story I thought was pretty cool when she was in Earth Two and she finds Killer Frost who I hadn't even thought of until she saw the guy in the mask I was like as soon as like right before she showed up I was like whatever happened to Killer Frost like is she actually dead and then of course she shows up right there and instead of thinking she just went full villain mode. Like, Caitlyn helps her out and everything, and it's like, all right, I'm going to kill you now, and I'm going to get that out of here. Like, now that you're here, I realize he only kept me alive because I look like you, so now he doesn't need me. And she, she just was being dumb. She was just being a villain, and sometimes you just got to realize, especially with the guy with super speed, I wouldn't even bother trying to kill anybody. I'm like, I'm out of here. If she was going to leave her to die or anything... I, you know, just do it when you're outside. Like, I would have just taken off. The guy's super speed. You probably would have caught them both anyway. But, I don't know. I was just like, man, that's not smart at all. Like, this guy's super speed. He seems to hear everything. Because when he ran in and stabbed her, he was like, I don't. Like, I don't need you. So, I'm like, I don't know where the heck he was and even heard that. But, you know, they do that all the time in TV. People would be, like, 20 feet away and they walk around the corner. Like, exactly. Like, you didn't hear that. So, <laughs> I don't know where he was at. But... Regardless of that, he has super speed, and that's not the type of person you screw around with and, you know, throw, like, ice shards and make all this noise that'll definitely attract the guy, you know, to you. So, she was being a dumb villain in that moment, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, Killer Frost is officially dead now. Like, she's definitely gone. And Caitlyn now has her warning where it's like, if you try that with the guy in the mask, I'll kill him too. So, we still don't know who he is. He's still just, you know, tapping away and... Not just, you know, breathing on the glass. Well, I guess he can't really breathe on the glass. But, you know, just doing, like, letters, you know, air letters or anything. He's still doing this little tapping thing, which I hope they have an answer for that. Why he can't just do, like, this, like, I am somebody. So, I, I don't know. Hopefully, they that has a good explanation to it. But he's still just there. Caitlyn's still trapped in Earth 2, which they can still get to once Barry gets his powers back. And... Maybe when he gets his powers back, I didn't think about this until just now, but maybe he'll actually have um, more speed. He'll be at 100% speed because it'll be recreating the first event. So it'll give him all of his power back. He won't be at, you know, 97% or anything like that. He'll have all of his power once again. Plus he'll have um, the, uh, I forgot what they call it, but like the tachyon accelerator, I believe is what they call it. 
and then he'll finally be able to defeat Zoom, which I believe we're fairly close to the end. I think the most recent episode, yeah, the most recent episode was 20, and I think we might only have 22 or 23 episodes, so we're really close to the end, but I definitely enjoyed this one. It was a nice, uh, no pun intended, but it was a nice slow episode, um, and, and it has some good character moments. Uh, Wells dealt with a lot of stuff. He has his daughter back as well, so that was pretty cool. She helped out with the team while Caitlin was gone. She, you know, was using the four degrees or whatever she was studying, like some crazy stuff like that. Um, but it was really cool. I thought it was a fun episode. I'm definitely looking forward to this next one. I can't wait to see um, how closely to the Flashpoint Paradox storyline they follow uh, with the recreation of the, I guess, event, really. But it should be really fun. I think that'll be exciting to watch. But I definitely enjoyed this one. But of course, I want to know what you guys thought about it. So please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts of these favorite parts. And with Barry having lost his powers, we had a lot of different things. Like stuff that would have been easily solved really, really fast um, in this episode. Mainly the villain stuff and the stuff with Wally, really. Because the main reason Joe said he couldn't meet him was because obviously he didn't have his powers. Like, it would hard to set that up, I guess. Not really. But it was like, you know, not the right moment to really set it up. But with him having lost his powers, I think it kind of brings out the question of what would happen if certain other characters lost their powers. Like, if Cisco lost his powers, or maybe if, like, Zoom lost his abilities, what would happen to the storyline? Because, obviously, with Cisco, I don't think it would matter at this point, because they already did the breach thing, and... They didn't really talk about it at all this episode, so I'm assuming that if Zoom wanted to, he could go through the breach again, because that's how he left anyway. He ran straight through the breach, it seemed, because he took off, and now they're back in Earth too. So I, I'm assuming he can still run straight through the breaches, but, like, if one of them lost their powers, how would it affect the show? Like, you know, like, it brings up the question of the man in the mask again, which is just, like, a really crazy variable like who we still don't know what the heck is going on with that guy so it's a weird question to ask but like what do you guys think would happen if for whatever reason zoom just lost his powers or you know if cisco lost his powers would they not be able to reopen the breach because barry isn't fast enough you know even if he got his powers back although he did run you know himself he opened up that breach in like a split second but he couldn't control it like i mentioned before he went to earth three when he did that even though they totally skipped over it um so he doesn't exactly have much control, you know, over what's going on when he ends up doing that. But what do you guys think would happen if one of those characters lost their powers? I mean, we've seen what happens when Barry loses his powers. And, you know, Cisco's never really had his powers too much. You know, honestly, like, he has his vibes every once in a while. But, and also, I can't wait to see him have, like, you know, the sonic attacks and all that stuff. I'm actually very excited, but I don't think we'll get that until... Either we'll get that at the end of this season, he'll do it like once and like just happen to save Barry by doing it, or we won't see it at all until the next season. But I think he'll do it and he'll save somebody's life and be like, holy crap, there it is. And then he'll train in between seasons or something. But I definitely want to know what you guys think would change in the story if, you know, like Zoom lost his powers. What do you think would happen? Especially if you have a guess as to who the guy in the mask is. If you think you know who that is, how that might affect the story. I would love to know that just as a cool theory i would love to hear that, like what theories you guys have on that but definitely want to know what you think would happen in that really random case which obviously um may not happen i doubt they'll take zoom's power you know well that might be the end game i guess that is what they're planning on doing but we'll have to wait and see but i want to know what you think about that and of course what you all thought about this episode in general so please comment below let me know and thanks for watching